Hi, this is David, coming from my secret lair and or closet, <laughs> filled with junk. Um, so today, I'm going to be talking to you about a plant I'm going to try growing. This one is kind of unusual. I'm going to have to take a look here. This is something I found at the thrift store. It's called Entada Reedy or in Tonda Ready or something like that. Um, I saw this at the store and it's this giant bean pod. And at first I wasn't sure if it was real or sculpture or what, but I looked it up and this is a giant bean pod that is the largest legume in the world. So largest size bean pod in the world. And it's got some really interesting properties. First of all, this thing can grow to massive size. Uh, the vine can be up to 15 inches around at the base once it's full grown. And it can grow up to 600 feet long, if I remember correctly. I think it was, let's see, 600, 60 story. Yeah, I think it was like about 600 feet long. And it, it just gets to an immense, immense size. It's generally found in the tropics and in South America and all around there because the seeds, which this is one of those, uh, these float and float away to distant shores, sometimes floating in the... Oh. <laughs> uh, well, sometimes getting dropped. Sometimes floating for years before they wash up and get bounced around enough to get scarified and start to grow. Now, I live in Arizona, which according to my research, uh, aside from really the moisture content, the, the climate should be good enough to get these things to grow. However, I've already tried and failed with this guy. Uh, these first four segments, uh, this one here was kind of moldy, but I tried growing it anyway. It just turned to mush. These three uh, started rotting and got infested with bugs and it just got really gross. Uh, I cleaned them up and tried planting them in the soil after having them in a pot for a while and they basically completely decomposed. They didn't do much of anything. So I'm going to take another shot with this handsome bean and this guy is going to get soaked for about 12 hours. Then we, well, first you have to kind of scrape up the side and dig a little hole in it so you expose the inner seed, because this is a hard shell here. But I'm going to scra scrape it up, scarify it, and then I'm going to soak it for about 12 hours, and then we are going to stick it in some damp sand, or horticultural grit is what they're calling it, so I'll have to look into that a little bit better. But i got 12 hours to figure that out. Um, and then we basically give it about 20 days to try to sprout, and hopefully we'll have better luck this time. Um, you know, some of the other things about these seeds, or legumes, or whatever they are, <laughs> the entonderidae is known as dream herb, uh, among other things, because the seeds uh, cause lucid dreams, or assist, assist in lucid dreams that people use in native cultures for communicating with their ancestors and stuff like that. So you've basically got magic beans <laughs> that grow to a gigantic size. Um, and if there's not a better analogy for, or analog for, like the Jack and the Beanstalk giant beanstalk, I don't know what it is. So this has really captured my imagination. So I'm going to try once again to grow it, and if it doesn't work, let's see, I got one, two, three more tries after this. So I will be back with the next video to let you know how this turned out, and I will see you later. Bye.